Hello Sagittarius, we are here to do a 10 card Celtic spread for you on your love life. We will clarify the cards. As we get started with the reading, I want to welcome and thank all of my new visitors as well as my returning subscribers for all their support. And I want to welcome cross watchers also. For those of you new to tarot, this is a general reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's smart to look at all the videos for your rising Venus and Moon also. Um, the readings are general, so every single card will not resonate with you most likely. This is like a buffet table. Take what is yours and leave the rest. And it is always smart to remember that energies can be vice versa. Okay. So we have this beautiful energy. Ooh, ooh, Ace of Coins, a new beginning worth its weight in gold. Excellent. Oh, Sagittarius, that's beautiful. The Empress card, Sagittarius, Venus energy. You are attracting money and love into your life. You may also be creating money and love. I like the energy for you, it's beautiful. The Seven of Swords, so you are being very stealthy about something. You are working a strategy. It looks as though you have your heart set on something. You have a specific goal in mind. It could be financial, and you are not letting anything stand in your way. And you're keeping it secretive. You know, you're not really, you're keeping it a secret. You're not sharing this information with other people. Probably a good idea. They always say when you're manifesting, keep it to yourself. Judgment card, Scorpio energy. So the judgment card is deems that you've made a decision to let go of something. The three of wands, you are looking into your future. Your ships have come in. That energy is Aries energy. Judgment is Scorpio energy and seven of swords is Aquarius energy. The Venus, here we have Taurus. The Taurus Empress. Oh, wow, look at this, Sagittarius. That's your energy right here. Eight of Wands, you are, you. most of you want to travel right now. Most of you want to have a magical new beginning. The card of the Magician is you manifesting something very specific that's very passionate, very much about having fun, enjoying love, enjoying life. The Five of Coins energy says that you feel right now that you're on the outs with somebody you care about or that you're recovering from having left a relationship behind. So right now you're feeling a little bit lonely. You're, you're really struggling with this energy. You feel as though your hopes and dreams for love uh, are not going to come true, but the Ten of Cups reversed is still a happy relationship in the offing. So there is sort of a spiritual crisis that you're having in terms of your faith. Let's see what else we have. The Seven of Coins. You want someone, you want to invest in a relationship with someone who invests in you, right? That's reasonable. You are not going to invest in anyone who isn't invested in you. You are seeking your happily ever after though. You just simply feel as though you might not have it right now or right away. It does show a lot of patience here for you. The, yet the Eight of Swords. You feel overwhelmed by the energy. You want happiness. Oh, look at this. This is part of the story. Look at the Two of Coins. You are going to, you are currently ignoring somebody who you think juggled you. You feel like, you know, right now you're trying to find out the truth about something that's going on in love. And you're being, again, very stealthy. You know, that's, that's a card of being very tricky about things. So let's go ahead and look. This looks like a complicated reading. Let's look and see what the overall energy is. So you definitely, your, your outcome is the, the um, sun card, happiest card in the deck. A time to give rather than take. 
Virgo energy. Interesting energy. Let's pull one more overall card. The cards are flying out today. They want to speak loudly. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Okay. So Sagittarius, you're really being called on by spirit in the universe to, to follow your intuition here, to go for the gold, so to speak, but you're not really feeling like you're up to the challenge right now. Okay, so we're gonna look at the bottom of the deck and see what's going on. Three of Swords, okay, that makes sense. It makes sense that you're feeling as though someone, looks as though someone may have cheated on you, may have put you in a third party, Judgment usually means judgment of divorce. For many of you, you've just released this person. But the energy is still there. You are making progress. You're moving forward slowly with this Virgo energy. You're trying to just ignore the pain that you feel in this search for somebody who has the desire to give you what you give them, equal give and take. You're not really ready right now for a big love affair. You want to be friends and lovers with someone. So there may be someone you have on your mind right now. And then Ten of Wands, letting go of burdens, looking into the future, healing, strength card, beautiful, because it really shows that you're on the precipice of a big breakthrough, Sagittarius, very much so. So let's see what the cards are to clarify, but it does look like somebody juggled you. And you just don't want to deal with it. You just want to be, you want that part of your life to be over. Okay. So why is the Ace of Coins here? Because you have a lot of manifesting energy. You are powerful right now, Sag. Okay. Nine of Wands. So you're being very guarded. Very, very guarded. If you have children, you're being very protective of them. You really want somebody who is willing to give you what you give them. You want equal give and take in a relationship, and it looks like you're going to get that. You're willing to take the risk. You are attracting. You look like you're looking good. You're feeling good. Look at this, a nine of cups. That is the card of your wish being granted. So there's someone in your life who you want to manifest, and you are bringing them into your life in a big hurry very fast <gasps> lover's card beautiful energy okay so you have a soulmate that you want to connect with and you have already done a lot of the work you're trying to complete this cycle that you're in right now of manifesting new love why is the seven of swords here you walked away from something the five of cups something that you found boring uninteresting somebody who hurt your feelings why is a judgment card here the two of cups it does look like some of you left a marriage and that's a judgment of divorce all right so let's see what we have here why do we have the three of wands why is the three of wands here okay so you are dealing with a person who had a lot of options somebody who was quite attractive to other people, but you are manifesting a new soulmate. I also get that because I get the card of divorce and a wedding or a marriage and a marriage upside down here, it does look like for many of you, while you go forward in your new life and your healing, it looks as though you are, mate, you are struggling financially with a partner who's not really being fair to you and giving everything that you deserve if you if that's your story if you have children and you're divorced you may have a difficult time with uh, your former spouse but you know what to do you're very smart you'll do what's best for the children you'll take care of everybody you're staying very aloof oh brilliant so we have Aquarius energy on top of Virgo and Gemini energy. You're powerful. You're going to get what you want. And you're being very stealthy and very sneaky. You know, there's a time and a place, right? Sometimes you just can't do things in front of people who are going to try to stop you. The Eight of Wands, what are you manifesting? Hopes and dreams for love coming true. That's what you're manifesting. You're manifesting a dream that you have that is now available to you. Why is the Five of Coins here? Yep, somebody is not giving you enough. 
child support, alimony, whatever. It looks as though this person is just not doing what is in the agreement, whatever that is, however that resonates. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed? Yep, here we go. So again, this is a card of stealth. It looks as though somebody was not honest with you and you chose to be single. Again, the judgment card you left, what appears to be a marriage, to be single and successful and ready to mingle. All right, the, look at this. Okay, so you have choices to make, and one of the values that you've determined is that you are going to value those people who value you. You do have someone on your mind. It looks as though someone has reached out to you in the recent past, probably on some form of social media since we have swords here, and it does look like you are talking with somebody. It looks as though... This person is someone in your life from a long time ago. I don't think you've been lovers yet. I wouldn't get that. I don't really get that kind of a reconciliation. But what I get is somebody who does not want to have multiple options. They too have been through a divorce. Oh my gosh, you can't make this up. Yeah, th this person also does not want a lightweight in love. They want real love and a new opportunity. So you have the Ace of Coins, the Ace of Wands. Let's see. The Ace of Wands, and you have the Ace of Cups or Hearts. So let's see what your outcome card is for this reading, Sagittarius. This is beautiful. I, there's been a lot of, I think in all the readings so far, we've, I've seen divorce. Judgment is typically a divorce card and it's Scorpio energy. So very interesting. So what is the outcome for our beautiful Sages? Expand your horizons. Good for you. You're, there's a lot that you're going to be very secretive about as you move forward in your life so that your ex does not get in the way, does not interfere. Okay, here's another card. Let's see, Spirit wants to tell you. Get ready for new horizons. Oh, beautiful manifestation. Look at this card. It's the happiest, happiest card in the deck, the sun card. Your outcome is this beautiful Leo energy. By summertime, you're going to feel as though you've developed a whole new life. Sagittarius, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back by subscribing, liking, sharing, sharing, commenting, and telling me where you're from. It's been a joy reading for you today. Thanks so much. Hope to see you again in another video. Take care, Sag. Bye-bye.